Hi students, in this video we will see how to install docker in Ubuntu 18. So I will open the browser and just type in install docker Ubuntu 18 and it gives me this docs.docker link and I will click on this link. So it shows various installation methods. I will follow the first method which is setting up the repository and then installing it. So I will open a terminal and run this command one by one. Let's first run sudo app get update. This will update any existing packages. Alright, now let's run this second command. And now I will run this command to add docker's official gpg key gpg is gnu privacy card because i have already added the key it is asking me whether i want to override the file so i'll just type y and press enter then i'll run this command to set up the stable repository and then let's run this update command once again So finally, let's run this apt-get install docker command to install the docker. It will use around 400 MB of disk space. So I'll type in y and press enter. Let's wait for the installation to finish. All right. So now that the installation is finished, let's check the docker version using docker-v command. So it shows that the docker version 20.10 and now let's see how can we start a container using the docker. So to start a container, first of all, we need to pull some image using which we can start a container. So we can pull uh, any docker image using docker pull command. So for instance, let's pull the busybox image. I'll use sudo docker pull busybox to pull the busybox image and by default it will pull the latest image. So once the pull is complete, we can see what all images are there using docker image ls command. So you can see that there is just one image and now let's see how can we start a container using this image. We can use the docker run command to run a container and I'll use the hyphen IT option to start an interactive shell and I'll now give it the image name. So we have an interactive shell running using this uh, busybox image. Let's see what all files are there. So it has all the folders which are there in the root folder of a Linux system. Uh, let's open one more terminal and start another container again using the same image so now we have two containers running and uh, what if I create a new folder here would this folder be visible in this container as well and the answer is no because both these containers have isolated file systems we can exit this container using the exit command so that's it for this video. Thanks and have a nice day.